When you go into a club, you need the history of the club. And uh, that is not going to be a new to me. It's not going to be a news to me. And uh, one thing I don't like talking about failure. You see, I, I'm not destined to fail. And uh, by his grace, I will not fail. Uh, we need to work harder. Uh, what we give you result is hard work, hard work and prayers. And at the same time, we all know that the expectation of Rangers, Rangers being a big team, the expectation is a high one. And uh, we'll do everything to avoid, you know, uh, uh, getting it wrong. Like when I was very small, my father taught me. He said, I do not know the secret to failure, I mean to success. But I know the secret to failure. He taught us the secret to failure. He said, avoid it, then you'll be successful. And the secret to failure is to want to please everybody. Yes, and that's the new sheriff in town. I'm talking <laughs> about Rangers International, uh, Benga Ogbubote, uh, the new coach. Um, he didn't really tell us what the target is, uh, Cecilia, uh, for the season. Respectable position. You know what's respectable? Yeah, that's, that's very Title or continental tickets. That's very That's respectable. Yeah, <laughs> but, but he knows that the expectations are high. He, made, he high. said he made it very clear as well. So, uh, I love, the, I love the pie, but he we'll gave it Yeah, you know, tell me about I mean, it. <laughs> I mean, the secret to failure. Yes. Yeah, it's trying to please everybody. Mm. <laughs> so when you're trying to do that, you're going to fail. So mm. what you need to do, just do what you think is best for the team. I'm happy that I actually love that because he's having experienced guys behind the scene and that will be telling him, no, you have to use this particular player. You can use this player and everyone wants to, you know, bring in their own players. And, and before you know it, if you decide to dance to each, very... each, I mean, it's going to get yeah, like, so I think it's going to be his own man. Yeah, so to he, he has to be. Has I mean, be because at man. the end of the day, uh, the results are not going. If it all yeah. goes, goes the and body men, The players will be there, but he's you going will, to You know, that's the way it is. You get the sack. So, okay, so all the, the best to bring uh, uh, Ogumbote as he begins his new um, manager journey uh, as a coach of Enugu Rangers. So, um, where are we going okay. now? Now, we'll quickly talk about the... Four Connect. Oh, we'll okay. talk about the Four Connect now. Before we also talk about another club, talking about uh, MFM. Now, the, the coach of uh, uh, the Nigeria Under 20 side, talking about the Four Connect. Uh, he's been talking about the fact that I mean the players, you know, they're going to use experience against Morocco. Remember, they've been facing Morocco this weekend, and that game is going to be the second round, first leg of the Under 20 uh, qualifiers. And if they win both legs, of course, we know they're going to face. Uh, South Africa or Botswana in on the other, on the other side. Okay, he joins us now from Abuja to talk about the team's preparations and when they will be leaving for Morocco. Good morning, coach. Welcome to the program. Good morning, and um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good to have you this morning, and thank you for taking our time, you know, to talk to us this morning. Now, the girls have been training hard. They've been preparing. Tell us what's it been like during training. Uh, it has been a highly treated training because. From the begin onset, from the onset, the goal or the aim of the team is to make sure that we qualify for France 2018. So everybody's in high spirit. Okay, now when are you going? When are you guys traveling to Morocco, and uh, what's it going to look like the traveling arrangements and all that? Well, uh, we will be leaving for Lagos from Abuja by two this afternoon, and I'm um, heading to Morocco somewhere let's say around 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay, and arriving there, is there going to be another training when you get to Lagos, you just rest, then when you get to Morocco, you have your final training before the game on Sunday? Yes, uh, training arrangements are made for both when we get to Lagos, because um, training could be in order, so what, depending on what we want, on the particular day. So training, that is, we'll have two or more sessions before playing on Sunday. So how do you see the Moroccan team? Have you seen their clips? Have you seen some of their players? Or you feel our like guests can just, you know, do the business the way they did against uh, Tanzania? Yes, we, we do as much research as we can. And we did uh, on the Moroccan teams. And our trainings have always have all been geared was how they play and um, how we should respond to the way they play and make sure we get the desired result in Morocco. Yeah. Okay, uh, final question is, with all the preparations, you know, the girls have had, do you think it's enough to tackle Morocco on Sunday? 
story. With all the preparations the girls have had, you know, we landed playing against the under-15 boys in Abuja, playing against some other friendlies, against some other local clubs right there in Abuja. Do you think the training is enough for the girls to, you know, take on Morocco on Sunday? Yes. We use the under-15 to train, basically one for strength and speed, and we also tried out our strategies on them, and um, I think to so a very, very appreciable level, it works. If we can do it on board, then I think when we get to more coffee again, more something is going to be perfectly executed. Okay, thank you very much, Coach, for finding our time to talk to us this morning. All the best in Morocco. Okay, they'll be in Lagos, leaving Abuja 2 p.m., be in Lagos today, and tomorrow yeah. they travel on. Yeah. And, of course, Sunday, that's... Yeah, all, all appears already uh, for the Falconets. Uh, I would say it's Morocco, no disrespect uh, to, uh, to that side. Uh, the Falconets, Nigerian football, Nigerian women's football, uh, compared to Morocco, uh, they're not really on the same level. So uh, you expect uh, Nigeria to go there, you know, get a positive result, uh, come back home, and, you know, try to uh, seal qualification for the next round uh, of qualifiers for the under-20 uh, FIFA World Cup. The good thing is that the first leg is in Morocco, so the second leg is going to be yeah. in Nigeria. And of course, we'll see how they can run that. But we'll wait and see if it's going to be another kind of uh, surprising, uh, what, no, not surprising, that kind of uh, re good result against, you know, 7 nil or 5 nil. Yeah, you know I mean, how the guys can roll when they really won the room. Yes, I mean, but I don't think it's going to be about the scoreline. I think it's, uh, uh, you're Just trying to qualify. qualify. So That's it's what it's about. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. And after that, they know they have the South Africa or yeah. Botswana. Well, I think South Africa will just beat Botswana, so mm. we should be so preparing it's looking like it's going to be Botswana South in the final round of qualifying. South Africa, you mean? Yeah, it's looking like it. Yeah. Yeah. Something, Botswana shocks South Africa? Nah, I don't Probably think another so. shock <laughs> in women's football. Because we know how South Africans, how they've grown over the years, They're trying to you know, keep up with Nigeria. Mm. But it's not been easy for them. Go for a break now. We'll come back we're talking. About what MFM, of course, the Champions League. At that time, Chijoke will be joining us. Stay with us.